Tesla shares are showing some correction today again as they appear to be losing momentum. But to me, a pullback to its support levels would be normal, expected and even desirable in this situation. The broad market is also showing some weakness right now, but for how long will this correction persist. There are important reversal chart structures to pay attention to from now on and this is what we are going to talk about in this video. Welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan. So let's start our analysis looking at Tesla's daily chart over here, losing momentum, trying to retest its next support levels. Okay, Nathan, Tesla is losing momentum. Is Tesla turning bearish right now? Not necessarily. Right now, Tesla, uh, in spite of this correction over here, Tesla is still bullish because we are still making higher highs, higher lows on smaller time frames. We are still above the 21 MA, the exponential moving average, and we are still above this purple trend line over here on the daily chart, connecting all the previous bottom levels since April this year. So, Given all of these technical conditions, Tesla is still, mid-term speaking, bullish. Now, what if Tesla loses this, this uh, 21 MA, loses this purple trend line over here, then Tesla is not going to be bullish anymore. Because right now, honestly, since, uh, since June this year, we can see that Tesla is struggling around this area, right? We are moving moving erratically since April. Okay, we are still in an in an uptrend, but uh, since June over here, we are kind of moving erratically. And uh, if if Tesla loses this purple trend line over here, in my humble opinion, Tesla is going to reject the bullish bias mid-term speaking, and uh, it is not gonna turn bearish yet because there is a difference between not being bullish and that. Uh, technically bearish. By losing this purple trend line over here, Tesla will be sideways, all right? Uh, Tesla will be in a sideways trend over here. It is going to uh, it, it is going to frustrate the bullish configuration, but uh, it is not going to turn actually bearish yet. However, in my humble opinion, uh, in my humble opinion, by losing this trend line over here, Tesla would have decent decent chances of retesting the $240 again, which is the most important key point mid-term speaking. Only by losing the $240, Tesla would technically turn bearish again mid-term speaking because, because, well, we may see some resistance levels over here, right? Maybe Tesla found a top level around this area, right? Around this resistance level over here because there is a descending trend line over here, right? Connecting the previous top levels on Tesla and that uh, this could be a problem, a, pr a problematic area. But uh, right now, as long as we stay above its support levels, to me, in my humble opinion, as a retail trader, I believe that Tesla will maintain its bullish bias over here. Now, what's important over here? If we take a look at the weekly chart, no, no, wait, hang on. If we take a look at SPY, SPY is reacting above a critical support level, just at the bottom level of this ascending channel over here. And it is reacting, it is a good reaction. QQQ is also reacting just above its main support levels on the weekly chart. What's more? What's more? SPY on the daily chart. SPY was extremely, extremely oversold last week over here. Uh, and uh, we reacted right when SPY reached the 200 moving average on the daily chart. Although this is the weekly chart, the moving averages are on the daily chart, all right? So we just reached this red line over here, the 200 moving average, and then we did a phenomenal bullish reaction again above this support level above the 200 moving average, uh, right above the $418 over here, which was a previous top level on SPY. Therefore, if Tesla, if Tesla is about to turn bearish, it is not going to be an easy fight to win because 
there are multiple support levels not only on tesla 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 would have to lose the moving average over here this purple trend line the 240 dollars the s p spy would have to lose all of its support levels as well this trend line over here on the weekly chart the 200 period moving average on the weekly chart as well qqq would have to lose its support area too so in order for tesla to turn bearish it is not going to be easy at all what's more tesla is still above the 21 ma on the weekly chart as well so there are multiple multiple support levels but uh if tesla along with the rest of the market loses its main mid-term support levels if we see spy frustrating its bullish reaction right above its uh all of the support levels i just mentioned it to you guys then okay tesla will probably turn bearish again probably in this scenario we are going to try to retest the 217 dollars again so we should be very careful at this area we should it is this is why i always tell you guys it is always always important to monitor how the s p how the qqq are doing because what's going to happen next on tesla is going to be dictated by the rest of the market oh but nathan there are earnings in six days this could be a major catalyst right yes but i already explained i already explained it what happens during earnings we usually see short short term volatility for one day or two and then tesla follows the broad market again earnings are not that important uh, people all people always overestimate earnings right this is but believe me, if we look over here, earnings aren't a main catalyst for us right now. But Nathan, Tesla crashed over here last earnings. I already explained it to you guys. Tesla only te technically reversed it because the S&P also reversed it. So again, believe me, earnings are not a major catalyst. They're only a major catalyst for one day or two, but they're not going to dictate Tesla's main trend over here. Either way, it is very important to keep your eyes open at this purple trend line over here and the $240 support level along with your subscription status. If you are not my subscriber yet, consider subscribing because I'm here every single day to keep you guys updated on Tesla and on other stocks as well. Oh, and uh, by the way, do you want to trade with us over here? We just nailed it. Many impressive trades recently. Just join our Telegram channel. The QR code is right here on the left corner of your screen. We nailed many good trades on Nvidia, Taiwan Semiconductor, Coinbase, uh, Spy, QQQ, etc. So just join us over there the link is also in the description of the i'm so sorry in the fixed comment of this video so all right let's keep your eyes open at these support levels tesla is is losing momentum but uh honestly i don't believe this is the end of the world yet uh since the bias is still bullish since tesla has many support levels to break in my again in my humble opinion any pullback would be nothing but another buying opportunity so let's keep your eyes open either way i'm gonna keep you guys updated every single day on this channel so again subscribe click the like button thank you for your audience my dear friends see you guys tomorrow